Hey guys, I'm back. We're getting ready to launch dollar sign loot coin, which is gonna be dropping soon based on the Solana, Solana platform. So I've just been kind of on both my computers doing that. I need twice the RAM to get this shit up and going. So many do not know this. I graduated from college, first of all, many don't know that. With <laughs> honors, with a 2.1 GPA, I studied urban planning. So I'm uniquely qualified to speak on what the city of New York needs. New York needs to make some major changes, Manhattan mainly, to be a more livable place solve the housing crisis, solve some historical issues that are kind of going on in the city. We'll get into it. We have product to start with, so let's get into that. All right, also a lot of people in the comments, DMs, in person, talking to me being like, LA gets better stuff. You guys forgot about New York. It's not true. LA's making you guys look bad here in New York because you guys aren't bringing good enough shit in. It sells on the website anyway, so I'm not gonna be shipping fucking different product back and forth between stores. If you want some shit, order it. Or fly to LA or don't, I don't care. This is New York product we're going through. A little old school joint. I still have a pair of these opening ceremony marmots opening ceremony did biggies it was a big deal in 2018 or whenever the fuck it happened they're like waterproof ski pants we got some off-white from a uh, nas futura event one of 70 shirts made special edition with the beautiful art of futura wonderful artist wonderful man we got the hood by air american psycho shirt very cute very demure we got phoebe celine beautiful shearling piece of leather it's got a nice tight curl pattern. Good stuff. This is the type of shit that like is never gonna sell. I don't expect y'all to buy this, but it's, it's beautiful and I'm gonna put it in the store. I talked about this with somebody yesterday. People bring in objectively much more interesting things in New York, but interesting shit don't pay the fucking bills. Let's be for real. Chrome Hearts and ERD and Gallery Department and fucking LV and Capital pay the bills. I appreciate all the interesting stuff, but like, you know, bring in some fucking Chrome shit, y'all. Come on, let's get to it. Let's get to the money. Y'all, that's, that's what y'all want anyway. Like, no one buys interesting shit. Is the, the real fact of the matter. It's the reality behind the situation. It's kind of a bummer, but it's life. Speaking of interesting stuff, we got the McDonald's Margiela. I think they're brand new. I just think they've kind of like been through hell as this garment would be. I don't know why they made these, to be honest. I feel like if you wore these, you get hit by a big old mallet. Kind of like clown shoes. But they're tabbies, they're Margiela, y'all. Chanel sample, I've had a couple of these. Rhinestone little baby tee. Size medium, whatever that means, tiny. It's a little baby tee. We got La Mer suede, I don't know, like Eskimo shoes with the crepe sole. A little calm, little vibe right here, made in Portugal and shit. Balenciaga, I bought this for myself, it's a little too small. It's supposed to button up all the way to the side if you're skinny enough for it, I wasn't skinny enough for it. And Y'all can see. But yeah, the pockets are like around the side. So you're supposed to wear it super twisted and then the shoulders get like super popped out. You're supposed to lay a big movie villain. Dimna loves a fucking bellhop jacket in any form he can find it. I don't know why, what he got going on. Maybe his first body was like in a hotel or something in Tbilisi. All right, New York City, Manhattan, congested, unlivable, no parking, and a lot of wasted space. Let's get into it. First things first, JFK, LaGuardia, way too far. If you notice, there's a distinct lack of density in the middle of the city from like 23rd up to like 50th. There's like, if you look at like the aerial slots, there's no skyscrapers there. The bedrock's too far down. I think what we need to do with that is pave that over and put an airport right there. An airport in the middle of Manhattan would make life much better for everyone involved. And you're like, what's gonna happen to the housing and the parking that's right there? We're gonna get into that. We're gonna talk about it. What are you gonna name the airport? Possible International Airport works. So we're gonna do that. Manhattan being an island's kind of a problem. There should be more bridges generally, but maybe just paving over the entire East River and kind of just connecting it to the mainland would really help. Nate also proposed, this is a really good idea, is digging a gorge out so we can build a dam as part of that and get some hydroelectric power because we wanna go green while we do all this to offset the carbon emissions from all the airplanes that are gonna be coming and going. Let's address the elephant in the room here, all the wasted space that is Central Park. I propose that we build a six story parking structure on top of Central Park. First of all, I want to repatriate Seneca Village to the ancestors of the people the land was stolen from and give them a, a tax credit into perpetuity so they don't have to pay taxes on that land. So we're gonna carve out that part, give it back to the families, help them develop it. But then we're gonna do the rest. Six story parking structure. You're like, that seems ugly. That seems like a waste of space. It's not because we're gonna put a Six Flags on the top. Six Flags in the medieval times and maybe like a go-kart course. And I, I, mini golf would be cool too. More activities for everybody on top of that. We're gonna have a lot of parking, which is gonna be good. It'll drive down the cost of parking. Also, it'll kind of like level the playing field on Billionaire's Row because it'll make that real estate less desirable. So people can move into those buildings because those are super tall and there's a lot of empty units in there. I think all the like Saudis 
Chinese and like warlords from around the world who own those as ways to hide their wealth will flee and get rid of it and we can just make that, you know, middle income housing. This is for the people, you know. I think Northern Manhattan is a bit hilly for my taste. I think if we could level that out and just keep the same buildings, you know, like we could like transport them and then level and put them back. It'll just be, I think, easier for everybody and just like easier to get around, you know. Downtown, the lower should probably, all these tenement buildings should probably be turned into like hundred story skyscrapers. They should extend the density of the financial district up to the airport basically. Megaopolis, you're going, you're going for Megaopolis. Yeah, I mean, I think we need to densify the city. Um, and then obviously like spend a shit ton of money fixing the trains. The trains should be redone brand new. Maybe some monorails up top because that looks futuristic because we're going for a futuristic city. Queens, Long Island, the Bronx. I think, you know, we can kind of like leave it be. I think I'm kind of focusing on Manhattan here. Staten Island, they can secede to Jersey. The money we save on ferries will allow us to complete a lot of these projects. Also, we need to put a Chili's in the city. Maybe a Chili's downtown. That's like a big one for me. That might be my number one thing. Start with putting a Chili's downtown somewhere. What are we doing? I think there need to be more lights. It's not bright enough. And uh, what about the FDR? Keeping that the same or rechanging that? We could add a few more lanes. We I could widen we it up. You know, they say that adding more lanes doesn't do much for traffic, but I guess we'll see. Do you know what we really should do is how they have in Vegas with that dumbass Tesla tunnel? Yeah. Is they should do tunnels that cars can go through next to the train so you can race the trains. That would be cool. I feel like this is going to be a huge economic win for New York and for the people of New York. I think so too. Wait, wait, wait. You didn't address housing. We're gonna build a bunch of super tall skyscrapers. I think they should cap the rent for every place at like 1200 bucks. I think rent should be cheap or free or subsidized for everybody. Public transportation should be free. There should be universal basic income. This may come back to bite me when I run for Senate, but I believe all these things. Maybe I'll run for city council or something soon. So thanks for everyone for tuning in. I hope I don't get fucking crucified for my uh, radical leftist views. And we're gonna do the LA video soon.